Hello, happy morning to all my lovely students there. How are you students? I hope that all my students are healthy and safe at home. Students, whenever you go out, please wear mask and then go. Carry a sanitizer with you and please avoid nowadays it is very spreading right the covid is spreading very fast okay students we have already completed with our chapter 8 that is patterns and symmetry i have already sent you the notes whenever you complete please send me the photo shots so today in this video we will be starting with our first chapter that is Chapter 9 Basic Geometrical Concepts or I can say figure Basic Geometrical Figure Hamara aas pas bohat zai cheeze hoti hai All have shape A fixed shape For example This is a book It also has a shape This book is square or rectangular Yes you are right this book is in a rectangular shape. Why? Because this two sides are equal and this two sides are equal. Okay students? So today we will be starting our chapter 9. Let's move. So students, today we will have a little introduction part and then we will be going to our main topics of this year. Okay students? Please carry a textbook along with you. Are already familiar with shapes around us? Triangle, rectangle, square. Students, we are already familiar with the shapes around us. As you can see on this board, triangle, rectangle, and triangle, rectangle, and square are two-dimensional figures. Okay, students? Our two-dimensional shapes. Cuboid, cube, cylinder, sphere. Cuboid, cube, cylinder and sphere are three-dimensional shapes. You play with ball, right? Exactly. To ball ka shape hai, that is known as sphere. Okay, students? Aap ball ka kisi paper ko roll karte hai. That shape becomes your cylinder. Our three dimensional shapes. Geometrical concepts. Point. So students, from now, we will be starting with our some geometrical concepts that are included in our main chapter. A point is a dot made by a sharp point of a pencil. It is represented by a capital letter of the English alphabet. Point A is represented in the adjoining figure. Students, after the first topic, I drop for journey these other the letters point. May is the pencil say if I make a sharp point, this will become my point. A map is point of now movie. When I give a name, Usually it is in alphabetical order, capital order of that, okay? As you can read in this, it is represented by a capital letter of the English alphabet. For example, I am giving this point a name, that is B point. Point A is represented in the adjoining figure, that is this figure, okay students? So, koi dot bana hai, that will be the point. Everyone has name. In the same way, each point has their own name. Line segment. A line segment has two end points. Thus, it has a definite length. And first, I am going discuss here that was the heading point. Now, the second heading will be line segment. Line segment is the line which has two points, point A and point B. Hume line segment ka starting point B pata hota hai and we also know the ending point of the line segment. 
so when we know the starting and the ending we can get the exact measure of the line segment okay students a line segment has two end points thus it has a definite length and can be measured we can measure the distance between the two end points it can be measured we write it as a b o b a line so students now we will be discussing line a line has no end and can be extended endlessly in both the directions thus it has no fixed length and cannot be measured a line can be represented in two ways using capital letters of the english alphabet we write it as students line segment ke pass starting and ending points hote hain and that can be measured but line ke pass na koi starting point hota hai na koi ending point it can increase by both the directions okay students ye bahut bar confusion hota hai we confuse usually in line and line segment line segment is fixed and it can be measured but line is not fixed and it cannot be measured lines can be expressed in two ways using capital letter of the english alphabet we write it as line pq or pq in this way as in this in this figure there are arrows on both these sides in line segment we don't have arrows but in line we have arrows ye jo arrows hote hain wo express karte hain ye line yahan se bhi increase ho sakti hai aur ye line yahan se bhi increase ho sakti hai okay students as line pq o pq using a small letter of the english alphabet we write it as line line can be written in two ways one by using the alphabet हम उसके अंदर दो डॉट डाल के दो पॉइंट डाल के उस लाइन का नाम ले सकते हैं या तो कोई स्मॉलर लेटर वी कैन यूज एज अ एल एज इज यूज एज द लाइन नेम लाइन एल रिमेंबर वन एंड ओनली वन लाइन कैन बी ड्रॉन थ्रू टू इट्स पॉइंट्स इनफिनाइट लाइंस कैन पास थ्रू अ सिंगल पॉइंट ओनली one single line can be drawn between two points main do points mein se sirf main ek single line frame kar sakti hu but infinite line can pass through one single point okay students see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so many lines can pass okay students so students let's keep it here today for our discussion we will be moving to our exercise 1 so students this is your exercise number 1 on page number just a hold just a second open your textbook on page number 103 of your textbook have a look on this page we are starting the first exercise is a flashback of what we have learned till now let's discuss few points fill in the blanks first one a square has dash vertex how many vertices are there in square four very good students a triangle has dash sides how many sides does the triangle have 1 2 and 3 there are dash diagonals in a rectangle this is your rectangle one diagonal and second diagonal so there are two diagonals in a rectangle a circle has no vertex a line has dash and points ha 
उन्होंने जस्ट अभी देखा था लाइन के पास क्या नहीं होता नो इन पॉइंट स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर टू आइडेंटिफाई ओपन एंड क्लोज फिगर जो फिगर ओपन होगा डैट विल बी ओपन एंड जो फिगर फुली पैक्ड होगा डैट विल बी क्लोज सी दिस इज ओपन और क्लोज Yes, it's open figure. This B one, it is closed. So I will use C for it. This C, a place it open space there will no na. Then it will be closed. And D, it is open. Okay, students. So question number three, you will be doing as a part of your worksheet. And one assignment to you. When you start this chapter, our first page for square, rectangle, triangle. ये तीनों को एक paper में cut करके you will stick that. Okay, students. So students, let's meet in exercise number two. Bye. Take care. God bless you.